हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्लिनिकल बायो केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ओसा जोन टेस्ट दिस इज अ टेस्ट व्हिच नॉर्मली वी आर डूइंग फॉर कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स सो बाय दिस टेस्ट वी कैन डिफरेंशिएट डिफरेंट रिड्यूसिंग शुगर्स सो लेटर ऑन वी विल सी व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल प्रोसीजर्स एंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस टेस्ट सो फर्स्ट वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज कार्बोहाइड्रेट कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स आर बेसिकली नोन एज पॉलीहाइड्रोक्सी एल्डिहाइड एंड कीटोन मींस कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स विल बी आइदर पॉलीहाइड्रोक्सी एल्डिहाइड और पॉलीहाइड्रोक्सी कीटोन मींस दे विल हैव मल्टीपल ओएच ग्रुप अलोंग विद दैट वन दे विल हैव आइदर एल्डिहाइड और आइदर कीटोन लाइक इफ यू सी दिस दीज आर द डिफरेंट कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स सो वी हैव दिस इज फर्स्ट वन इज पेंटोज राइबो शुगर एट इज राइबोज सेकेंड वन इज ग्लूकोज फ्रुक्टोज गैलेक्टोज एंड मैनोज सो नॉर्मली कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स विल हैव आइदर एल डी हाइडी ग्रुप सो हियर यू कैन सी एल डी हाइडी ग्रुप हियर यू कैन सी एल डी हाइडी ग्रुप हियर एल डी हाइड एल डी हाइड और हियर इट यू हैव किटोन ग्रुप सो कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स विल हैव मल्टीपल ओ एच ग्रुप विच वी कैन सी हियर दीज आर द ओ एच ग्रुप्स हियर ऑल्सो ओ एच ग्रुप्स और अलॉन्ग विद दैट वन दे विल हैव आइदर एल डी हाइड और दे विल हैव किटोन मीन्स carbohydrates will have two different types of functional group so here we are going to use this aldehyde group and ketone group for the purpose of osa zone test so first we uh, we should understand what is osa zone test and then we will go for principle so osa zone test is a chemical test uh, which is we are going to use to detect the reducing sugar uh, you should understand what is reducing sugar so any sugar any carbohydrate which will have free aldehyde or free ketonic group means anomeric carbon should be free so if anomeric carbon is free that is called as reducing sugar so reducing sugar um, almost all the monosaccharides and disaccharides are reducing sugar except few sugars uh, that i have already made a video on that one i will give you link for that uh, reducing sugar and uh, non reducing sugar differentiations Uh, in the description box so th in this test we are going to form osazon crystals ya osazon crystal is going to be formed so sometimes this test is also known as osazon formation test not only osazon test it is also called as osazon formation test now this test even allow the differentiation of this different reducing sugars on the basis of time of appearance of the complex in this case we are going to give get a complex compound that we are going to call osa zones so for different sugars different reducing sugar like we have glucose fructose galactose uh, mannose lactose so different sugars gives you osa zone is going to form at different time span and the crystal shape of different sugars will be different so on the basis of the time of appearance of the crystals as well as the shape of crystal is going to be differentiated differ so on the basis of these two parameters we are going to identify which type of sugar is that one this test is also termed as phenyl hydrazine test because one of the reagent is containing going to phenyl hydrazine or phenyl hydrazine you can call it that is the main constituent of this test so that is going to involve in this reactions the objective of this test normally why we are going to do it uh, normally Uh, it is going to help us in the detection of reducing sugar so we can detect that reducing sugar is present or it is not present there or to differentiate reducing sugar from the non reducing sugar so because you know that only reducing sugar gives this test so this test helps you for the differentiation between reducing sugar and non reducing sugar as well as you can differentiate between two reducing sugar depending on the time of appearance and the crystal shape so different sugars gives you different type of crystals and at different time crystal will form so you can not only detect reducing sugar you can differentiate reducing and non reducing you can differentiate two reducing sugar depending on the time and crystal shape now the principle of the osa zone test the reagent whatever reagent we are going to use here is that contains phenyl hydrazine and we prepare that phenyl hydrazine in the acetate buffer this test is based on the fact that carbohydrate having free or potentially free carbonyl groups already we have told you that it is having either aldehyde group or it is having ketonic group so this is carbonyl groups 
सो एनी कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स हैविंग फ्री पोटेंसी और कार्बोनाइल ग्रुप्स विच रिएक्ट्स विथ फिनाइल हाइड्राजीन एंड गिव्स अस ओसाजोन इन दिस केस दिस फिनाइल हाइड्राजीन व्हिच इज इन मेन रिएजेंट दैट रिएक्ट्स विथ एल्डिहाइड ग्रुप और कीटोनिक ग्रुप बाय ए रिएक्शन दैट रिएक्शन इज कंडेंसेशन oxidation condensation reactions in this case we required three molecule of phenyl hydrogen so every osazone formation test needs three phenyl hydrogen and this three phenyl hydrogen is going to involve in the reactions and their carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 of aldose aldehyde group carbohydrate or carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 of ketose is going to give a compound that is 1 to diphenyl hydrazone this is called as osazone so this compound is going to form means what we are going to have we are having a carbohydrate in this case this carbohydrate is having carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 here we are having three molecule of osazone uh, phenyl hydrazine is going to react with carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 and ultimately we are going to get 1 to diphenyl hydrazone so this is called as osazone test this is going to give us crystal a specific crystal normally the color of this crystal is yellow color crystals which will have a specific shape it is characteristic of that particular sugar it will have different type of solubility either it will be water soluble or it will be insoluble it will have different melting point and time of formation is different so osazone is different for different sugars i have already told you glucose gives you different uh, osazone different crystals at different time span fructose gives you different type of crystals at different time span lactose mannose mal uh, ma then uh, maltose then galactose different sugars gives you different type of crystal so we can differentiate them now how this three molecule of uh, phenyl hydrazine is going to react so this is a basic carbohydrate structure where we have written only carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 as we know that only first two carbon is going to involve in the reactions remaining four carbohydrate or remaining carbohydrate carbons we don't we have not written here now in the first step of the reactions this first aldehyde group or the first carbo uh, where Um, carboxyl group that is going to react with this phenyl hydrazine phenyl hydrazine so it is going to react with the first carbon and we are going to get a compound fine in the second step this second molecule of phenyl hydrazine which is going to convert this uh, hydroxyl group coh into ketonic carbon so the this directly second molecule of phenyl hydrazine does not react with the carbohydrate only it is going to going to oxidize it so this is go, this hydroxyl group is going to be oxidized to carboxyl group so that is the role of second molecule of phenyl hydrazine then third molecule of phenyl hydrazine will come and it is going to react with the this carboxyl group means ultimately only aldehyde or ketone can react with the phenyl hydrazine and ultimately we get this osazone crystals this osazone crystal is normally stabilized it will be stable by forming hydrogen bond as you can see here this is the hydrogen bond so both uh, this is the structure this is the crystal structure but the crystal structure will be stabilized by hydrogen bond formation so we have seen here this molecule is going to involve in the reactions then third molecule is going to involve in the reaction the role of second hydro, uh, phenyl hydrazine is oxidation of hydroxyl group into ketonic group the main principle in this case is uh, how this reaction reacts is in this case uh, we are going to uh, reducing we have a reducing carbohydrate uh, which when treated with phenyl hydrazine at 100 degree c we have to react with at the 100 degree c means boiling water bath and ph should be 4.3 so this is acidic ph so reaction takes place at acidic ph and the boiling water bath and then this crystal will form hope it will be clear so first 
in this mainly you can divide into two different reactions this is reaction number one where first molecule reacts this is the reaction number two where second reaction happens but before second reaction we have to activate this OH into ketone group that is the reaction now as we have seen only carbon number one and carbon number two is going to involve in the reactions so any compound any sugar which is C2 epimer means they differ at carbon number 2 only. So they are going to give us same type of OSA zone. Like here we are having glucose and here we are having mannose. If you see everything is same, only these two sugar is differing at this carbon. So because this is carbon first carbon and second carbon will ultimately react with phenyl hydrogen and gives you phenyl hydrogen. So in that case, both this is also this glucose also gives you same uh, osa zone and mannose also gives you same osa zone because these two differs at second carbon and second carbon is not at all going to be used that uh, means it will be unused it will be used as a reaction so both will give you phenyl hydrogen derivative at second carbon so same osa zone will be formed same kind of crystal will be formed by glucose and mannose not only this epimers have C2 epimers, but also all those ketoses or aldoses which differs at carbon number 2 gives us same type of OSA zone like glucose and fructose. As you can see, in this case, this is aldose uh, which is having this remaining carbon will be same, only they differ at first and second carbon. So, here we are having aldehyde group, here we are having ketone group. So both reacts with the this carbon and this carbon will react here this carbon and this carbon will react with a phenyl hydrogen and ultimately both are going to give you similar type of crystal formations because except the first two carbon remaining all other carbons are unaffected portion they are not at all going to involve in the reactions so if any aldose or ketose which differs at car one first carbon or second carbon gives you same type of crystals any carbohydrates which is differing at one carbon number one or carbon number two means c2 epimers are also going to give you same type of crystals now what is our requirement when we are going to perform this test it requires reagent that is one of the reagent that is main mixer main reagent is osazone mixtures where which can be prepared by 0.5 gram of phenyl hydrogen hydrochloride dissolved in 0.1 gram of sodium acetate you have seen this reaction occurs at 4.3 uh, ph so acidic ph that is uh, this glacial acetic acid will be used to make reaction acidic and then test sample which we are going to detect it material we require we require test tube test tube stands pipette and equipment we require vortex water bath and to visualize crystals, we, re we require a microscope. How we are going to perform this test? First, take 5 ml of test sample in a clean test tubes. Then add 0 0.3 uh, gram of osazone mixtures and 5 drop of glacial acetic acid. So we have three things here. We have test sample, we have osazone mixture, reagent, and we are having glacial acetic acid. So these two reacts in the in acidic environment. You can heat this one, uh, this mixture, reaction mixture, mix gently, and you can heat slightly if substances are not going to be dissolved, not going to be mixed properly. So there you can heat it. Once it will be mixed completely, then put it in water bath, and after several uh, minute to minute means after few minutes, you can visualize them on the microscope for the any kind of crystal formations. Now, how result can be analyzed? Uh, how we can see the result? What is the different type of results we are having? So here, based on the shape and structure of crystals and their time of appearance, different sugar can be identified. Like first, fructose is going to give us a fructose zone. The uh, osazone crystals called as fructose zones that roughly form at two minutes of time. It is of needle shape and it is water insoluble. Glucose gives us glucosazone, glucosazone that is at 5 minutes of time. It is also needle shape and it is insoluble. Now, glucose and fructose both 
आर एल्डोज एंड कीटोज दिस इज कीटोज दिस इज एल्डोज बोथ डिफर्स एट कार्बन नंबर वन एंड टू ओनली सो यू हैव ऑलरेडी सीन एनी कार्बोहाइड्रेट विच डिफर्स एट कार्बन नंबर वन एंड कार्बन नंबर टू गिव्स अस सेम क्रिस्टल्स सेम नॉट ओनली ग्लूकोज फ्रुक्टोज बट ग्लूकोज एंड मैनोज ऑल्सो गिव्स अस सेम टाइप ऑफ नीडल सेप क्रिस्टल बिकॉज मैनोज ऑल्सो सी टू इपी मर ऑफ ग्लूकोज सो दैट मैनोज विल गिव यू मैनोज आज वन एंड दैट विल बी नीडल सेप क्रिस्टल ओनली then galactose gives us galactose ions that will be around 20 minute of time span and its crystal will be thorny ball shape that is water insoluble so all the monosaccharides roughly gives us water insoluble crystals maltose gives us maltose ion sorry and it will be at 30 to 45 minute of time span its uh, sunflower or a star shape it is water soluble lactose gives us lactose ions around 30 to 45 minutes its uh, shape will be cotton ball shape or puff shape that is also water soluble no if no crystal forms after 30 minutes also then remove the test test tubes from the water bath and allow them to cool spontaneously observe after every 5 minute till crystal appears up to 25 minutes so if no crystal you can see after 30 to 45 minutes then you can take out the test tubes cool it spontaneously in every 5 minutes see the samples for the any kind of crystal formations take that sample from the test tubes put it on uh, glass uh, with the help of glass rod take out some crystals on the glass slides cover them with cover slips and observe under microscope so you can visualize it normally yellow crystals appears uh, in the tubes containing glucose or fructose within first 10 minutes only so these are the different shapes you can see see here this is glucose crystal this is fructose crystal so needle shape crystals mannose that is also needle shape crystals here lactose uh, needle shape crystals in case of xylose maltose uh, sunflower like crystals so these are different type of crystals we can visualize uh, and on the basis of this crystals and time of appearance we can differentiate different reducing sugars now remember one thing a uh, few points that is limitations the, as this test gives us positive test for sucrose only if you are going to boil for 30 minutes because sucrose is non reducing sugar sucrose starch all the polysaccharides are non reducing sugar so if you are going to heat them for longer duration of time then those sucrose or starch will be dissolved it will be hydrolyzed and give you monosaccharides or disaccharides that monosaccharide will give you positive test otherwise su this uh, sucrose is a non reducing sugar that's why it not will if it will not give you positive test or starch as polysaccharide they are non reducing sugar they, that's why they will not give you polys uh, uh, positive osazone test but after heating for many time means 30 minutes 35 minutes once it will be dissolved it will be hydrolyzed it will give you positive test second limitation of this test is this test is not at all effective if your sample contains more than one different type of sugars because you will get different type of crystals and then you cannot differentiate them so when your sample contains only one type of sugars then you can easily differentiate it but if you have a mixture of samples you cannot differentiate those crystals which type of sample is present or which sample uh, sample is absent there similarly large quantity of sugar is also required for the positive test <coughs> so here we require a more amount of uh, sugar samples so this is all about the osazone test hope it will be clear for you uh, if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it so thank you very much have a nice day you can follow my channels on different platforms different social media thank you very much have a nice day